Hello and welcome to The Daily Shave. My name is John, and today I'll be talking about Barrister and Man Nordist. Now before we get into the shave, let me share with you what gear I'll be using. So first up is the razor, and this is from Charcoal Goods, level 2. This one's brass, and the handle is a torpedo shape. And this is one of my favorite pickups from 2019. Uh, it's, efficient, it's an extremely efficient but smooth razor. So I just love going for this when I have three or more days of beard growth. And that's about what I'm working with today, three, uh, three days since I last shaved. And then for the brush I'll be using, I've already loaded the soap on here, but it's this beautiful brush from That Darn Rob. And this was made for uh, one of the Facebook groups I'm part of, Old Kohapa Shaving Book Club. See the coin there? So the soap is loaded here. Uh, I went for about 30 seconds and we'll see, it's a 26 millimeter badger knot. So you wanna get enough soap in there, rather not go back to the puck if possible. So uh, before you know, we get things going, let me just wet the face a little bit and I'll start the lather. <clears throat> So here we go. So already I can see that it's going on pasty, which is totally fine because I'm going to add lather to this. I mean, I'm going to add water to this lather. But as I'm lathering, why don't I talk a little bit about this the soap from Bear Stern Man. So Nordis was released. Um, Back in the end of November, I believe it came out Black Friday, actually. And the history of this scent is pretty interesting in that it was originally made for the North a Northeast um, Wet Shaving Meetup that happened back in October, and I was able to partake in that. Uh, being in Boston, Massachusetts, it was a short drive, and it was a lot of fun. But uh, Will Carius from Barrister Man was asked to create this scent. But before I get into the specifics, specifics of the scent notes, uh, I do want to mention that this is the latest soap base, Excelsior. Uh, so this is a uh, fairly thirsty soap base. So this is one you want to make sure you do not underhydrate. You can just see me add a little bit of water at a time. I, I didn't start with a super wet brush um, after soaking it for about two, three minutes, I gave it a two good shakes over the sink. One cool thing about this brush, I'm not sure if you noticed, is it was half, it is half wood, half resin. And the wood part was actually salvaged driftwood from the Cohaba, Cohaba River that the group name is actually um, based on. So that's getting a nice sheen. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Honestly, I'm always a little surprised how much water many soaps nowadays can take. All right, I think that's good. So here we go with our first pass. So right on the label, 
Nordisk is described as smoked orange for the scent. And the first thing to get out of the way is how much smoke is in there, because that is a note that folks, including myself, can be sensitive to. And I do want to say that it's not overly smoky at all. In fact, talking, talking to a few folks who picked up the soap, um, a lot of times all they get is the orange portion of the scent. And I would say this is uh, better described as a dark orange. And so you're like, what does dark orange mean? And what I mean by uh, dark orange is it's not, it's not overly sweet. It's actually a very naturalistic orange. And it's just, whatever you might think is darkness, uh, sometimes it kind of, kind of think vetiver um, is a darker note. But at the very least, I think it's an orange with some underlying co complexity to it. And another scent that it kind of reminds me of um, a, a darker take on is Sterling, uh, Ster Sterling Soap Company's Satsuma. And that one also is not just your typical orange. In general, like you know, a lot of citruses can come off as almost uh, like, a, like a cleaning fluid kind of, kind of uh, scent, but neither Satsuma uh, and definitely not Nordist, you know, come off that way. So that's why I use the word naturalistic. It smells like an actual orange that you're peeling. It is super, super enjoyable. I think it's really accessible. And bottom line is, uh, don't let that's the smoke in the description uh, deter you if you like citrus, uh, citrus scents. All right, so that's the first pass. Uh, I'm gonna rinse off and lather for the second. So with the grain, no problem. I'm gonna lather for the, uh, my against the grain pass. Now, I'm always thinking about, as far as my scents go, um, kind of what seasons do they play well in? And if I were to choose for Nordis, I would say for, for fall, um, it's kind of the, on, the, on the warmer portion of fall, Nordis is kind of right at home with. But also, because our spring is fairly short here in the Northeast, and it can still be quite cold even in April, uh, I think Nordis could also really do well there. Kind of with the, uh, with, with the colder temperatures in the dead of winter, I feel like this, the, the orange note is going to be harder to kind of pick up, as a lot of those bright notes kind of get masked in, in the cooler weather. But I will say, I will be using this in the winter as well, as I am, you know, right now, it's January. Because the orange and other citrus notes are nice to kind of take you away if you're getting tired of snow or just wearing heavy parkas and wool hats and scars and all that. Citrus can definitely transport you to, you know, in your mind at least, warmer temperatures. Okay. So here we go with the Against the Grain Pass.
You can really hear it. <laughs> you can really hear it, I think. The audible feedback is quite noticeable, at least in in my bathroom. I think some of you folks uh, watching at home might also be wondering how does Doris compare to other bears or man scents? And I would say that it actually is on the on the more straightforward, on, on the more simpler side. So if you do if you don't mind it too complex, this this might be more in your wheelhouse. Some of the other uh um Sense available from Barrister Man often have um, the Moose de Sax uh, kind of uh, fragrance combination, and that's you know that, that can turn some folks off because it can be musky. Kind of depends what it's combined with. So it's been used in Baudelaire, it's been used in Vespers, it's used in yeah quite a, quite a number of La Vanille. So this you know kind of that's the that's, that's what Barrister Man is known for, at least at least in my mind. And no, you know, comparatively, Notice is much simpler because it doesn't have that base. It just it's it's much more straightforward. I would say uh, more mass appealing. You might have seen I I did kind of nick myself a little bit down here. I have a little too, <laughs> a little too aggressive going with the uh, against the green pass down here. But it's okay; it'll stop on its own. In general, for me, this area right here, by the neck, um, it's always it is very sensitive skin. So I'm kind of used to, you know, sometimes a little. It's not even a straight up cut, but it, it it does get sensitive. So I'm gonna avoid that today as I do my uh, touch up pass. We'll just get the sides here, and with the touch up pass, I'm gonna go across the grain. Right, I think that'll do. All right, so other than that sensitive area I mentioned under the neck, the soaps and bears man are always Always excellent. Really enjoyable scent. I do I do love citrus and uh, while I get tired of, you know, just kind of um, if something's like straight up lemonade or orange juice, um, that, that tends to be too sweet for me. So I think kind of this you know, description of smoked orange is perfect for folks who um, might be in the same boat. Again, here's an aftershave. A few shakes of that. In past wearings, I think the aftershave, mm, 
I mean, most action shaves aren't gonna last hours upon hours. Um, I, I'd give this one maybe an hour, or maybe a little, little under, between half an hour and an hour, and a little feedback. Sometimes I do get kind of uh, whiffs of it, whiffs, whiffs of it, of it <laughs> as I'm out and about during my day, but. I'm fine with that because I just really enjoy this scent. I'll, I'll take I'll take it for however however long it wants to stay with me. All right, so that wraps up my shave. So you know, again today we're talking about Bear Sherman Nordist. Uh, this was my first video for the new year, 2020. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're really looking forward to um, the year ahead and what may come. So if you guys enjoy this video and you want to see uh, more content from me, you can find me on most, you know, on most platforms on YouTube, Instagram and whatnot under Latherhog. And I'd love for you to check some of that stuff out. But thank you for joining me in today's Daily Shave and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.